We're now going to talk about how we find the sums of finite arithmetic sequences. And the way that we do that is we use the following formula. If we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus, and we add the first, oops, n integers, or counting numbers, I should say, this will always be equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. And this was created by Gauss, who is the same mathematician that the Gaussian method is named after. He discovered a formula where he noticed that if he took s as being this sum up to n, and he reversed it that what he got was these pieces and these pieces repeated over and over again. So this is an n plus 1, and this is an n plus 1. So if he adds the two rows together, he gets 2s equals n plus 1 plus n plus 1 plus n plus 1 plus... He gets these, and there's n of these. So 2s is equal to n times n plus 1. And so the sum is n times n plus 1 over 2. And so that gives us our sum if we know what n is. And so we can use something like this to help us when we've got a, something bigger. So Sn is, term, is defined as A1 plus A2 plus A3 up to An. So S3 would only be A1 plus A2 plus A3. This tells us how many terms we have. And it's called the partial sum, or the sum of the first n terms of a sequence. Well, that means that this is Sn equals A1 plus A1 plus D plus A1 plus 2D, and so on all the way up to A1 plus An, or just all the way up to just An. And if we turn this around, we can do it again, and we add it with going the other way, Sn equals An plus a n minus d plus a n minus 2d plus dot 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 all the way down to a1 again. And if we add these together, notice the d's are going to go away. And when we add these, we get 2sn is equal to a1 plus a n plus a1 plus a n plus all the way down to a n plus a1, which is the same thing. And there's n of these because there's n terms in here. So sn is equal to n times a1 plus a n divided by 2. And this is the formula that you need to know. So here's how the formula works. Suppose we have the sum 2 thirds plus 5 six plus 1 plus 7 six plus 4 thirds plus 3 halves plus 5 thirds plus 11 six plus 2, plus 13, 6. So this looks a little bit difficult right now, but we have our first term, and we have our last term. All we need to do now is make sure it's arithmetic. So let's take 5, 6, minus 2 thirds, which is 5, 6, minus 4, 6, which is 1, 6. And notice if I add 1, 6 each time, this works perfectly, because this is 8, 6, which reduces. This is 9, 6, which reduces to 3 halves. 10, 6, 11, 6, 12, 6, 13, 6. So there's my D, so this is arithmetic. This is A1. This is AN. And it turns out that N is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I now know all the pieces that I need. The S10 of this series is N, which is 10, times 2 thirds plus 13, 6, divided by 2. Well, I'm going to do this part first. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 thirds plus 13 six isn't very friendly. So this is equal to 5 times 4 six plus 13 six, which is 5 times 17 six. And 5 times 17 is 85. We end up with 85 six, which doesn't reduce. So the, these 10 terms add up to 85 over 6. Well, let's just double check that on a calculator. 85 divided by 6 is 14.166. Remember that one, 1 6 repeated. So we're going to do 2 thirds plus 5 6 
plus 1, plus 7 6, plus 4 thirds, plus 3 halves, plus 5 thirds, plus 11 6, plus 2, plus 13 6. And we got the same thing, but we did it in a much faster way using the formula. And the more terms you have, the faster and better this formula is.